you have here? How many of you want to be activists? All right. Uh, I'm going to tell you some things today. Um, some of these might shake you up a little bit. Uh, so I'm here to talk about Occupy the Pipeline. I'm also to, here to talk about uh, the state of grassroots, and I'm here to remind you who you are and what you need to do uh, if you really want to stop tra uh, fracking and save this state, save this country, save this planet. So how many of you went up to Albany at the end of the last weekend um, of August for the rally? We managed to get 2,500 people there, and that almost did not happen. Uh, it almost didn't happen because um, there were a lot of organizations that had been listening to a particular uh, person inside the Cuomo administration who was advising them not to challenge Governor Cuomo, and there was a series of conference calls, and in, that con in those conference calls, the people that would not accept that were the grassroots. And the people in this room, whether you know it or not, you are the grassroots. So we put our foot down and we said, we are not going to wait till September. We are not going to wait till October. We need to have that action in August. And we will. And we will have it in Albany. And so we did. And we had a massive turnout. And it made a statement. And yes, as Alex had said earlier, uh, you know, there was all those things. You know, maybe in two weeks the governor will come out. And now he's backtracked. And now he is calling for a, uh, a health impact assessment. Well, don't rest on your laurels, okay? That health impact assessment perhaps buys you some time. But what is happening in the meantime? Well, that's where Occupy the Pipeline comes in. Right now, 24-7, there is a team of people from Spectra Pipeline, and they are installing a high-pressure gas pipeline uh, at the intersection of Gansport and the West Side Highway. Um, this was something that was opposed at every level uh, through the community. Uh, we, we went after them when they had to go through the uh, Federal uh, Energy Regulatory Commission and FERC rubber stamped this. Okay? We went through our uh, local elected officials and they have let us down. Christine Quinn, I hope you're listening. Okay? And last week, and in the week before, some of us engaged in civil disobedience. First, uh, two weeks ago, um, two of our, of our people, and these are just people like yourselves, they climbed into a, an area where they were digging it out with a backhoe, and they sat down, and eventually they were removed by the police and arrested. Um, a week later, we went back in, we took a more drastic measure. Six of us went in, I was one of them, and two of us locked ourselves to heavy equipment. I climbed up on top of a multi-ton backhoe, 20 feet in the air, and I locked my neck to that, okay? It only delayed it. It only delayed it for a couple hours, but it was a statement, okay? And what we need now are people. We need you. We need you to stop things like this pipeline. Uh, a couple people have talked about infrastructure, about the pipelines. These fracking people, I was just down in, uh, in Philadelphia for uh, uh, shale gas outrage, okay? And they were having a, a national gas convention there. And we did a direct action. It was yesterday morning. And as these people were going into their conference to talk about their little fracking things and have their little fracking seminars and, and say you know, what a great job they were doing and ignoring all the poisons that they were injecting into America, we confronted them outside. Some of the really clever people from, from Ithaca came down with these little dialogue bubbles and it said something like, you know, I'm poisoning your water. Okay, and they held it over these people as they entered in. Or it said something like, I'm morally bankrupt. Okay? And others of us, we 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 held banners and we blocked those entrances. And they had to walk around and meanwhile we're just saying, get out. <laughs> but not in that type of voice. It was more like, get out! And we did that because these people, they really do have no morals. Or they're in complete denial. And they will destroy the culture and the environment in which we all live if we don't get out there and try and stop them. So... I know that direct action is not for everybody. I know that civil disobedience is not for everybody. But I just want you to know that if we don't have enough people, like this pipeline thing, this, this spectral pipeline, this is a winnable battle. If we can block this pipeline construction uh, up until November 1st, they have to stop because of some sort of regulatory thing, okay? If they get in before that point, 
even though Sane Energy Project and others are trying to sue them to reverse that, they will have already installed it and it will be that much harder. 